Hello everyone. Welcome to this program where we are in conversation with a team of eminent guests who are today going to discuss the implication of the sound rules that have been applied to Goa in the last couple of months. Uh, with us we have a very interesting panel may I say. For my right to introduce our guest today is advocate Radharao Gracias who needs no introduction. Uh, he has been an MLA, he's been an active lawyer, he is the one who has taken a stand on this case, we are also aware from his writings in the press. Next is Clancio who runs an open air entertainment center in, 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 in Nuve. And to my left is Prashant Naik, student activist, leader of many years and uh, active at the political front at different levels who has his own views on different issues and uh, we'll see, we'll hear more about them today. And to my extreme left is uh, Dr. Dias. Uh, doctor has been uh, writing about this issue. He interestingly is a musician. He's not one of those musicians who uncritically supports the creation of noise. So we have a range of issues here today. Maybe I should throw it forward first to Clancio, who will tell us a little bit about how the implementations of the rules for the last few months have been affecting someone like him? Uh, see, basically, we as uh, hall owners do not get affected much with the sound. If you say 10 o'clock as per law, we are ready to do 10 o'clock. If you say 12 o'clock, we are ready to do 12 o'clock. The problem arises when you face the clients. You know, when it's 10 o'clock, they come to us, see, it's not 10 o'clock, we have spent so much and, you know, it, it's hardly anything. We are, you know, unhappy with what is happening. But we cannot do anything, we tell them it's the law. It's a law, it says 10 o'clock, we have to stick to 10 o'clock. So, we cannot do anything. We are happy with stops at 10. But looking at them, we really feel bad because they have spent a lot of money and they require a little more time, at least an hour more. And if you look at our Goan traditions, it has always been music from, you know, olden time weddings to get away at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, forget that. But at least another hour would really make our clients happy and they would feel at least value for money. We have spent, yes. And if you say, you know, none of they have to come running from work, come back. If you say at 8 o'clock, if the wedding starts and you want to stop at 10, the sound. I mean, we have our tradition, like we have, uh, when they, as they come in, we have our... Uh, uh, what do you call it? We have a toast, then you have your toast song, which is a tradition that we follow. And taking this, the first piece gets off, it takes about 45 minutes. So what is left is about an hour after snacks and all that served. So with one hour dancing, they feel really unsatisfied. So I would request, of course, the government is doing as promised, they would do something about it. And I'm happy that it's been taken up to the center and uh, hope even but also the government has said that they would create some recreational and commercial centers of for sounds and i hope they would consider our venues because we have we spent a lot of money not only it's everyone's venues who are existing venues which have a license from the panchayat to at least consider us while considering you know this so-called commercial or uh, recreational establishments but Clancio, just to understand your context, uh, your venue, all venues are not the same. Tell us about your venue and uh, how close it is to inhabitation. Does it disturb others? What open no, our, see, uh, if you look at our venue, it's about three kilometers off the highway and we have uh, just a couple of houses around it. We don't have much houses around it. But still, looking at the law, we want to stick to the law. We cannot, and the second thing, if we can, if we can go up to 11, it would be unjust to other hall owners who are sticking to 10. We have now recently formed an association of uh, South Goa owners, not everyone, of course, and some few are from the north. And we have decided to stick to the government timing of 10. Now we hope that the government will in turn help us by increasing the time to 11 so that our people are happy. For us, we are happy with 10. Not that we are not happy, but we are looking at the people, you know, they come to us and say, what is this, what, I mean, we feel really sad because they have, we know that they have spent a lot of money, decoration, the band, and looking at all of that, we say, an hour would make a lot of difference to that. Before this starts sounding like a plea for uh, making more noise, I want to make it clear that that is not our agenda. Uh, we, we have, uh, you know, different points of view coming out here and, and as the time goes along, we'll find out. 
but maybe at this point it might be right to ask Dr. Louis Dice, musician, uh, gynecologist, uh, known for his role in promoting child's play, which is a very interesting concept. I think that's a program in itself where he teaches slum children how to play music and things like that, yes. poor children. Uh, Dr. Louis, counterpoint. Yeah, see, my uh, what shall I say? My take on noise pollution is not just on the entertainment and halls, etc., but upon the the effect of noise in general, noise pollution in general. Now, we happen to live by the riverfront, where we are daily assaulted by the noise from the pleasure cruises. Yeah, so this is a, this is something for the for whoever is on on board that uh, boat. It is pleasure for about forty five minutes or whatever whatever the duration of that journey is. But we have that day in and day out, and it and, and it, it goes on. And it sometimes yeah, sometimes it goes on beyond. So in the past, so we have now and had some sort of, a, what shall I say, a peaceful understanding with the owners of those boats. Where if it if it gets to annoy to the point where it disturbs us, we send them a WhatsApp, and then the person makes gives the orders, and it and it gets turned down. So we have some kind of an understanding, but it's informal. It's not. We have tried in the past calling the police and all of that, and the police begin to say to us. Uh, can you tell us where is who is causing it? And we'll yeah. I said I cannot make out which boat is passing by right now. No things like that. So I'm talking. I'm talking in 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 my capacity as two things: as a resident, and as a public health professional. So I'm talking about the public health effects of noise. Now I t totally take Clancy's point of I you know I I've, I've lived here. I've had a wedding. I've go to weddings. So I I take the point about that. But what the bottom line should always be that my music should not be somebody else's noise. That is the issue, and the issue should be that it should be within a certain limit. So I think if it is, if it stays within a certain limit, then those, those even those the timings are become less relevant. If, the, for example, now the I, if I, you can uh, advocate Gracious can correct me, if it is spend, it's meant to be 55 decibels during de, uh, daytime hours and 40 40 decibels after. So if those uh, le levels are adhered to. Nobody has a problem. So you think control it at the output of the noise, not at just no, uh, yeah, statistical yeah, figure. But, but, but uh, as as uh, advocate Gracias wrote in his column, the question is how does one enforce it, and who enforces it, and all of those things. Uh, we that has always been the problem in in our country. About we have good, beautiful laws, but how to, how how, to, how are they enforced? So my issue is only this: as a uh, the, because unlike other many other senses, let's say you know, I I drink a hot liquid. My sens sensation of taste will go for a while; it will come back. But if a if a nerve cell which is responsible for hearing is damaged, it does not regenerate; it's gone. So many many of my musician friends say, "Why are you making such a big noise about all this?" And for us, it is not, we don't find it noisy. They are already partially deaf. I know I I have musician friends who have gone deaf, really? and they tell me now, the the ones who they used to listen to very very loud music either with their headphones or whatever, they can't hear certain frequencies anymore. So this is a public health issue, and it, and it is something that is now become the same way we talk about secondhand smoke, which now is an entity. Now we cannot, you cannot have people smoking in certain public places because my smoke might be, be harmful to you. The same attitude has to be taken towards noise. Now it is. I'm not talking in specifically only about this. I'm talking even about as he wrote about uh, traffic noise. He lives near the the railway tracks. Uh, something should be done on all these things, but one thing at a time, perhaps. So the, I, I welcome the fact that the law of law of the land is taking a look at this, and I'm hoping that this will lead to discussion just like this, which will eventually lead to better control of it. Because let's face it, as a not as Goa, as a country, we are a noisy people. Yeah, and part of it also has happened. Uh, part of it also has part of it also has to do with the fact that uh, what should I say? We have because we have gotten acclimatized to noise. We have to speak up even more, and it, it's a it's a it's a what shall I say? It is a, uh, a it's a it's a it's a spiral. It goes up. You can call it a downward spiral or an upward spiral. But we have to talk louder because ambient noise is loud. So we have to learn how to basically adhere to noise pollution uh, laws and and levels. And that is what that is my stance. Doctor has thrown up many interesting issues here. Uh, of course, that there's scope for a lot of debate, but thanks, Doctor, for raising these points because they are also valuable and important. Now, to throw the cat cat among the pigeons, none other than Radha, because Radha feels very strongly on this. He has also written uh, about it. So, Radha, tell us your point of view. I think you are looking more from the legal and the implementation of the laws at this time. Am I right? Yeah. See what happens, you no, know, Rico. 
uh, of course music is there and no one can dispute that there is mu music everywhere so that it affects the ears or the sound hearing system is also correct but at the same time the issue, what we are not everybody is demanding extension of time for for playing music so if music is bad altogether then it has to be banned altogether so long as we permit it the whole issue is should you permit it for one hour extra you get me now practically speaking uh, you see there is a huge difference between music and normal noise you see we live anywhere you see our cars you see our trains you see our plane they make a hell of a lot of noise but no one bothers with them when you have organized functions that music is actually not as jarring as as uh, let's say plane noise or a train noise what if i don't appreciate the music no no you see when you are living in a general group in a society there are things we'll appreciate and which you will appreciate and things things which you will not so therefore there is requirement that things should be adjusted in such a way that all are taken into account you can't simply go on making noise because some people don't like noise or remain silent because that is the better way you have to take into account everybody you know, in society you have all types of people now this noise doesn't take place every day i am not talking only of dance floor ignore the dance floors you see as a catholic i know that our easter service our uh, new year service our christmas service good friday service they all take place at midnight historically they have been taking place of course what has happened is you know uh, and it is not just uh, the catholic thing i know zago the the shigmos i know uh, what you call that zatras zatras they all take place at night unfortunately what has happened is see as long oh, as there were no uh, amplification and exactly. all that it yeah. was not a, such a big problem i know i know what has happened no uh, rico after the invention of the large speaker the god seem to have gone deaf so people have to pray louder now this is what is and after the rda after the rda started promoting this scheme to to create more loudspeakers to buy more loudspeakers yes. so what actually for midnight mass or all these traditional festivals there must not be a ban at least that is the way i would say even if it if it affects you it affects you for a day or two for three four days in a year but uh, you have been spending your time to respond to dr lewis but you tell us about the legal point ah, we were point, earlier yeah, yeah. how did this come about give us understanding see what please. happens is there is a misconception that the high court has banned the uh, banned uh, the, this law banned the uh, playing of loud music or making of light sounds high court has not done anything high courts normally do not ban anything high courts only interpret the law and seek to enforce it now what has happened here is this law is not come yesterday this is something called noise pollution regulation act is under the central pollution act and it came into force on valentines day in the year 2000 now what has happened now is as it happens laws are there in the books people violate it and unless someone complains it remains that is the way things work in our country so what has happened here is uh, the law was there someone filed a petition it came to the notice of the high court and because the high court has taken it up and issued direction the police are now enforcing it so the law is not something new the law has been there it looks like that yesterday the day for yesterday the go assembly has taken note of it now this law is in what is called as see we have three lists the union list in which the government of india can make laws the concurrent list in which both the state and the union can make laws and then the state list in which the state can make laws now this this particular po noise pollution is not in any list but the law is that if there is not if if it does not come under any list then it automatically falls in the central list, union list therefore the union has come up with this uh, noise control uh, regulations and they have made one big mistake you see they have considered the whole country as one contiguous unit in terms of sociology in terms of noise in terms of customs and traditions which is not so so what the center had in my opinion what the center had to do was get the consent of each state find out what state want then form a schedule in that noise pollution and say all right in goa the noise pollution will be up to this level and up to this hour or if there are festivals give the government the power to grant longer exemptions or alternately if the government center doesn't want to form such a list they could empower each state to frame their own rules depending on their requirements and i think the government of goa has yesterday's therefore yesterday's assembly session moved some resolution 
or taken some action to request the center to change the rules. I think that, that if those rules are changed or if the local government is empowered to implement it or create the new rules, I think that should sort every problem out. But doctor, even within Goa, there are different zones. See, you all Sastika don't face the same noise that maybe coastal Badris faces. Mm. Okay, and that even the musicians concede because they say that, you know, parts of the state there are problems. Yeah. See, what happens is, these problems are, I think, Bardesh is what you call rave music. Now, I, I essentially feel that that rave music should be done away with altogether. You see, in my growing up years, music meant soft music. Of course, then it has gone on being louder and louder. And now it appears, the louder the music, the better it is. Even that song yesterday which won that academy, whatever it was. Natu, Natu. Natu, Natu. It's not, nothing but noise, man. They are dancing and shouting and strumming around and it gets an award, man. So today is situation has changed. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> but, yeah, interesting, very interesting what you're saying. So, yeah, we'll, we'll now give uh, Prashant a chance to speak. Prashant, of course, is a student. No, leader. no, before Prashant goes, I'll tell you, of the five of us sitting here, Prashant and I, our entire careers are based on making noise from the beginning. <laughs> See, <laughs> before he's speaking, before he's speaking, you are cutting the grass for one no, no. You should have told us that before you spoke. Both of us have been. But the biggest noise makes us in yeah. Goa, man. All our lives. Okay. You don't Prashant, take it away from us. Son. जग क जन्म पड़े हैं कहीं से नशीले एक्ट नशीले कहीं नशीले पड़े तो हम तीन चार गदली संतों का पहले कितना कौन तेरी एक रांटी सावज मारता लो बोड़ी कट्टा लेने मारता लो और बवाल करता ले कहीं इतना वाड़े वेलु लोग की तेरी रांटी किधर रांटी सावज है रांटी सावज है रांडू कर भी है ओके वाड़े � एक बोड़ी बन करता ले वर्षा ट्रेडिशनल बोड़ी अस्तर ही एक रांटी जनावर मरता ले वाड़े वेली सभी लोग पाटून खाता ले चार चार बोरो पट्टा ले एक एक टाइम कौन काय मन्ना शुल्ला तरना काय काय जैसो काय जैसो आवाज जल्ला जन्ना लोग वीक पाक हतिर मार पाला ले तरना प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट जल्ला एक किंडल मार्डोत माली वो एक वाशी के लिए पाकास के लोग सभी के लिए कौन ना कहे मन्ना शिलो फॉरेस्ट एक तो शिलो पुर कौन ना कोणा वाटे वात ना शिलो आत किस जाना तू को तू गया घर आकर जब तू गया घर बंद तब सुध मार पा मेरा बिकॉज मंचाले हाउस चढ़ दली अन्य आमी कटिंग कर रहे गए अत म्यूजिक कंट्रोल इज द परफेक्ट थिंग तुम्हें कंट्रोल करापे एक अः चलता लोक त्रास जो नहीं बंद कर गवर्नमेंट सरकारी अधिकारी पुलिस खायाचो मोटा फायदा हा लेट पर चलपा भर Because there is a lot of money which is being swindled on account of allowing this music. Yeah, so all of that. So control so, what do you do? Control what do you do? That's the kind of thing. 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 But in the past, that's the kind of thing. 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 आमी जर ते भाईलान को ड्रग्स पार्टी रेव पार्टी जाता मन आम गिरे आम चोराई डे आमी खेलो डे तो है हम कब यहाँ हमारे आठ साढ़े आठ आज ना कादार स्टार्ट होता तब नंतर एक दो ना डांस फ्लोर आचर उसपा प्रत्येक दिस था ते म्यूजिक उर्दू नहीं तब ना तो तो आम चांगा मी तब म्यूजिक आ तो आम का घोस आमका शिक्षिती परेड कर पाए बीस बीस धौल अनि इतने ताशे वाजो इत वर्ता पड़े तब तुम इतना आमका रमट कर पाते सो ताजेर जर बेन आये लो जर जाए जरा कोई चीज संस्कृति मुट्टे की थी उर्ते लगता कर सो एक स्वर्ण मध्य में कर पाते तक मंडा की एक ये दोगातलो मिडल मोडलो मिडल पात मिडल पात में कर पाते एस कैंसियो 
तितल्यापुर ते मर्यादित दौरबाय म्युझिक मोठ्यान ऐकले म्हणून तू डान्स स्फूर्ता आणि मातशे लो ऐकले म्हणून डान्स स्फूर्ता असे काहीच जाऊ शकना मला दिसतं की एक सुवर्ण मध्ये जर काढलो जाल्या हो प्रॉब्लेम सॉल्व्ह करप आता आणि बेसिकली नाव द बॉल लाईज इन द कोर्ट ऑफ द गव्हर्नमेंट गैर असेंब्ली भर जे डिस्कशन जो पे तू भर अशा कि हम प्रयत्न आसा पांगे गोये सरकार खे प्रयत्न ये लास्ट लॉजिकल कन्क्लूजन वा दे से देट वी आर ट्राइंग अवर लेवर बेस्ट वी आर राइटिंग फिर राइटिंग करूं जाए यू हेव टू गेट इट डन एज राधा सजेस्टेड कि वेगवेग् प्रदेश खीर वेगवेगे आसपा जाए लॉज और यू अलाउ द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टू मेक अ लॉ ऑन दिस स्टेट गवर्नमेंट कंट्रोल कर म्यूजिक हंगा म्यूजिक जो दिल्ली आयक नहीं थे हंगा लोक आयक नहीं थे हंगे लोक त्रास जो सो गोई गवर्नमेंट कहटा कि गोई खी लोक त्रास जो कसो त्रास जो प्रमाण लेट डेम इन एक्ट द लॉज एंड लेट डेम एनफोर्स डेम सो हू विल बेल द कैटप्रेसन तुवे मुझे पे भाषे नही तुवे एक मोटो विषय का हंगसर फ्रॉम वॉट यू आर सेंग इट स्ट्राइक्स मी दैट द लॉ इज गोइंग इन वन ट्रैक द टेक्नोलॉजी इज गोइंग इन अदर ट्रैक एंड द इकोनॉमिक्स आर गोइंग इन थर्ड ट्रैक so so you know what what the law doesn't want you to do the technology is allowing you to do very easily now so so that issue all these issues are there then there are other issues on the agenda for example uh, uniform implementation of the law because it came before christmas i'm not trying to communalize or something no, no, no. it gave a certain color to it okay then uh, the issue is how do musicians make use of technology just because they have it as prashant said should they blare it to the maximum all these issues are there i think there is a awareness among musicians they were they were quite upset i belong to one bands in goa group and there are many music groups so they were really upset and they were shocked and they didn't know how to respond but there is also a certain awareness that maybe we we need to keep things in control of course then the third question is who controls all these things who who takes who who keeps check whether a legal approach is the best approach or whether as some of you all were suggesting almost you know when we have some neighbors keeping control on what's going on supposing clancio's neighbors say that you know this is affecting us then uh, they should be that should be taken into account otherwise you are leaving it arbitrarily to the to the law enforcers what are the other issues you all feel the open open house come in whoever no maga dista ki etu bitar ek mane citizenship man citizen man ami amgelya kartavya kadan total fail asat so don't expect everybody to be aba gudi gudi ani sarko baba was sagle kaide ami kaide palna mane be kaide rajya dat ni anga सो आम्ही ट्रॅफिक रूल खेळ पाळतात आम्ही प्लास्टिक उडयनाक म्हणतात आम्ही प्लास्टिक उडयतात सगळे आम्ही सगळं कचरा करतात सो आम्ही बेसिकली लॉ अबायडिंग सिटीजन्स आम्ही कितले म्हणले जाल्यार हे फक्त सिटीजनाचे सोडून जावपाचे ना बँडवाल्या कितें आसा बँडवाल्या पयशे मेळटा तो वाजयतलो वतलो तेका दोन वर वाजयतो तेका सोयी जाले ऑनलाईन घालपाक ना ताका ताका कंट्रोल येवपा जाय बिकॉज एक अशी जातली मागीर चड जर मोठ्यान वाजयले जाल्यार तू बॅन न्ही थंय मागीर तो वेन्यूवालो म्हणटलो तुगे बॅन नाका हे बॅन हाडनाक म्हणटलो हो मोठ्यान वाजयत म्हण बॅन्डवाली तशी शिकतलो वेन्यू म्हणटलो तू प्रशांताली बॅन्ड हाडटा मरे ते बॅन्ड आम कोता येवपा ना बिकॉज तो चड मोठ्यान वाजयता आणि आमगे सगळ्या लोकांना त्रास करता सो प्रशांत वूड बी मी विल ऑटोमॅटिकली गेट एलिमिनेटेड फ्रॉम दिस हे सो मला दिसता की हे सगळ्यो एजन्सी सगळे लोक एकठाय जाऊन जर बरेपणान जर गेले जाय आणि दिस इज नॉट अ बिग डील दिस कॅन बी इझिली कंट्रोल्ड सगळे वेन्यू हे आमगे बँड्स एन्ड पीपल ऑर्गनायझर्स ज्याचो इव्हेंट आहे हे तिघांनी एकटाई केलं जाल्यार तुका पुलीस येऊपा गरज ना कोणा कॉल करपा गरज ना काहीच गरज ना आय थिंक देर इज अर इज अ नीड फॉर अ फॉर अ कॉन्सेन्सेस बट राधा कमिंग बॅक गिव्हिंग यू अन अदर चान्स वॉट्स वॉट्स युअर थॉट्स ऑन दिस ऑन रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू प्रशांत वॉट इज सी वॉट हॅव प्रशांत सेस इज अब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट बट देन आय पर्सनली वी कॅन लिव्ह एनिथिंग आर टू आर सोसायटी आर सोसायटी इज डिसऑर्गनाइज the law must be clear for all whole the state same law if you go to ask any neighbor and whether this is loud or this is short they will start extortion mm. everybody will say no no you stop it and once you start once you can say puts them on his payroll you will be able to play at the highest this till midnight mm. this is the sort of people we have now so the law must be yes you can play up to this sound time. till this time yeah beyond that nothing doing but that time using time to control seems to be a problem because as doctor was suggesting maybe you use decibels to control then no 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 no, it. no it's mm-hmm. not like that not it is not like that see the whole problem if you are allowing music up to a particular decibel level at a particular point of time it means during that point period that sound is okay so all we are saying is if that is okay extend it by half an hour or one hour no no rada that uh-huh. is still illogical no you uh-huh. are saying that within a certain time frame any noise is okay no whatever no. permitted noise permitted i am not saying any permitted noise. noise permitted noise let's say is up to 10 o'clock mm. we c- abide by that whatever the decibel level up mm. to 10 o'clock we we'll, all we are saying is 
if it stop at 10, what is the logic at 10? Go till 11. This is what we are saying. We are not trying to say anything. Maintain the same sound level, but for one hour more. You are arguing about the time, whereas there can be a wider argument on what is the best controls. Now, mm -hmm. just to give an example, if you look at the roads in Goa, yeah. I am always surprised how silent our streets are. Mm -hmm. Armchair driver, horn, vajun, I chod korun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Compared no, to other no. states. And if someone yeah. is hooting a lot, you can, I am sorry to sound racist, but you can get bet that that guy is either a tourist or he is from the, from the tourist areas in a big hurry to drop his body, you know, in that sense. But, but by and large, our streets are silent. How has this come about? You go to any other, any other state outside Goa and you see, please blow horn. That is, that is the rule operating. So, if we can keep our roads silent, can we not bring in some self-discipline? Yeah. No, I mean, and that is self-discipline. Is not, uh, I don't think it's possible. Some rogues, some men give plans to your plans. Yeah. 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 Uh, 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 see, once, you know, look at the band. The band sees the people are enjoying, you know. So they also get a little excited and then they blur up. That's the problem. See, it is not that they also feel, you know, that, okay, mm. the crowd is with me. So crowd is with me like let's yeah. they they forget what they had actually you know where the levels and all everything is forgotten yeah so that's only I think if everyone gets together the band gets together then we have uh, you know the yeah. hall owners and of course the MCs and all and we decide okay Baba said this now they are coming with the levels they are saying pollution levels now they are saying outside you where your compound you can put the meter and you know can mm. be checked the decibels can be checked. Now, what about people who hardly have any place? Now, where, which side? Mm. The front side, back side? I mean, where do we <laughs> put the meters? Mm. It has to be very specific because what happens? Some fellows have small halls. Some fellows have big halls. So, the guys who have big halls can make big noise. Rather, what does the judgment exactly say on, on, on the timings and on... Decibels. Uh, yeah, decibels. See, the judgment says nothing on the timings or on the decibel level. That is what the law says. You see this noise regulation, control rela regulation, that has laid down the time that is from no no sound music between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. no music and the decibel some 55 or 60 whatever it zones. is mentioned in the in the law itself high court has not created any law all that high court has said is please enforce it now the problem with high court enforcement is this see we all live in village I live in a village he lives in a village Prashant used to be you also live in Salida yeah. see in Majorda or Bethalbatim, wherever I live, every day I see so many fighting bulls being trained. See, the, I am saying this in the context of the ban on bullfighting. Bull fight. I can see every small spot somewhere bullfights taking place. Now, these bullfights take place because the police permit them. Money is charged, you are allowed to uh, have a bullfight, and before the police come there, there is a telephonic conversation. Police arrived there just after the fights are over. They catch hold of someone just for the record, five, uh, 250 rupees fine, and bullfights go on. The moment the High Court imposes a ban, it is the enforcement authorities that make money. I will give you one classic example. You see, some years ago, there was a bullfight in Majorda. Everything went on, the bulls started fighting, but the one bull ran away. The other fellow charged at that bull, and the fight started again across the road. Majorda, Uthorda, the road separating Majorda from Uthorda. Now, sudden police arrived there and started demanding uh, the fights will be stopped. And this fellow who was the organizer said, Nare, I'm Dila Mare Patran, Paolo Mare Saibak. Nare Saibak Pauna, Kit Sangaritu, upon Sakan Sagan fix coronel, Daza Dile. I'm telling you the reality. He says, No, phone, the Saib is phoned up. The Saib says, No, nothing is given. Are Kona Saibakolo to Verna police. You see that road divides Verna police station from Majorda police station. They had pay, played at Kolwa police station under which Majorda comes. And the bullfight took place in Uttarda. And it was that fellow. This is the so reality. The bulls caused all the trouble. <laughs> yeah. They don't know I they talk to me. <laughs> This is actually happened in my village. I see. So once you have these laws, they, they must be strictly enforced. There should be no taking of payment yeah. and uh, starting it. Rule of or law. you take Madka. There's a petition, I think, filed by Kashna Chetty, if I'm not mistaken, in the High Court <coughs> asking for a ban on. Matka. Matka is banned. But is there any spot in Goa where Matka is not played? The High Court is there. Matka is there. Ban is there. Government files Afida with. Is there any place where Matka is not played? Everywhere I see numbers being displayed. Man. Mm. So it, it makes a joke of the High Court orders. 
when the high court passes orders and they only enable the enforcement authorities to take money and allow illegalities, that is where the high court must intervene. The high court must, must insist upon and take action against the police officers or enforcement officers who allow this. And until that is done, there should be no ban. Let people pay music to any <laughs> point of time. Because so you are allowing people, officers, to make money by having such law. If that is the case, reality. what yeah. is the way out? General yeah. question to everyone, especially okay. those who have not spoken. Doctor. Yeah, so I think, you know, I, I referred earlier to the issue of smoking. Uh, many of us who have grown up, uh, I remember being taught by a master who used to have his cigarette dangling from his mouth while he taught me the violin. It was acceptable. I, I have had uh, uh, class teachers smoke while they taught us in school. All that has stopped now because we know that it is a bad thing to, and it's, it, uh, we, are, we are aware of the public health, deleterious public health effects of smoking. I have a feeling that this is the beginning of a discussion on the effects of noise pollution. It might not uh, yield fruit just now, but the very fact that this court ruling has come and we are having this discussion and more and more people are writing and talking about it, it's going to, we are going to have to focus on the health effects of it. And I wish that more of the medical fraternity also educate the lay public about the the problems that it this has. So when you, the, one of, uh, since we are talking about law, while I was researching uh, whatever I wrote, I came across a law in, in the United Kingdom where they ultimately said it has to be a matter of respect your neighbor as your, as your neighbor respects you. So if all of us can, can have this sort of an, an approach, where we say, okay, I'm not going to make the noise louder than I would not want to have it when I'm, when I'm trying to sleep. Then the, pro then the problem gets solved. I totally agree with the whole issue of, uh, we know that the problem, is, enforcement is going to be a problem. But the fact that we are talking about it means the next time someone turns up the volume, the technology is there. But the, by that same token, we have the technology to cross a sound barrier in our cars. We don't do it because it's, we know that we'll crash into something, we'll cause harm to ourselves, we'll cause harm to others, and the police are likely to catch us. So we, we don't do it. But they've, I've, they've, hopefully will come a time when we don't blast it for the sake of it. Now, there are so many other places all around the world where we have music. I, for example, there, you have pleasure cruises on the River Thames. And I've gone on those parties. I've, I've had a lovely time on, in those boats. But they don't disturb anybody on either bank. How is that possible and why is it not possible in our rivers? Why is, why is it that in, in our Goa, we have this thing, the tourist has to be pleased at all costs, the, the, the sick and the residents have to somehow suffer the consequences of it. This logic I refuse to buy. Because if, if there is one elderly resident whose, whose sleep is being disturbed, and uh, that, that has to be taken into account. We can turn it down. If that if if that if that person especially that person complains, now you are you are lucky to have just three neighbors. But if one of those people say, "Baba, I my my son has got an exam. He's got his SSC exams. Can you make sure that you don't have the, the noise on these days?" There can be an understanding. No, this is what I'm talking about. But if you have this kind of thing, I'm going to do whatever I like, and you you can go and complain. Then it gets then it gets acrimonious. Doctor, doctor, the the suddenness with which the the implementation came was a bit of a shock. Yeah, yeah, the, the because, timing. I totally, I totally because it get came it, yeah. in the pre-Christmas yeah. season, Christmas and, and season. the bands, you know, were totally. They are quite a, a group, and many of them are earning their living living from it. Even Tiyats mm -hmm. are another group who are affected by this. Tiyats are normally get no. over before ten. Yeah, I think they are in the halls. Yeah, in the hall. Village, if they are, they don't burn it up so much. Not from us. They are banking now. They are not coming any Tiyats. Any village, village, what happens? Tiyats, whole village is sitting in the hall. Now those who are those who are in ten, twelve standard, they are at home. No, see what exactly some some get affected more than others. They are such. They are such. See, see, see. I'll come to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, made please, an please, important please. point. Why are we talking about tourists? Because we have 15 lakh population and around 90 lakh tourists. Six times they are our population. So, tourists are not going to be able to do it. Tourists are not going to be able to do it. Tourists are not going to be able to do it. But, what is the problem? 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 So, Makadistaki, we cannot orient everything towards tourism. At the same time, tourism is backbone. Punto Koshitarian or Pato Hagek Margas Pine, Sarkaralik Margas Pine. You cannot have these uh, parties throughout the night and entire bed at the Lokani Sodunot Pache. The way the in other areas in the world, the Shalok Sodunos Palagam, the Shodunos Parki Puristi open of the Yaga. So Takalabun Makadistaki, some control to Upakazani, I think, a teen factor the rectangle. The Amgele venue, the person who hires it, 
एंड द बेड वाले तीन जन जर एक दृष्टि वो प्रॉब्लम सोलो जो एज एवरीबडी से टाइम इन्क्रीज कंट्रोल सभी जो देन यू नो इन गोवा बिकॉज ऑफ दीस वेरी काइंड ऑफ फ्रैक्चर्ड सोसायटी वी आर इन सोले पुका इफेक्ट जाता इफेक्ट जाना सो इफ यू इम्प्लीमेंट द लॉ इन एज अ मैटर स्टैंड इट अफेक्ट्स वन सेक्शन ऑफ सोसायटी बट नाउ से फॉर एग्जाम्पल ड्यूरिंग ड्यूरिंग द फेस्टिवल्स ओके गणेश एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट I I remember Nanda Kumar Kamath writing such a strong note about how he was personally getting affected in the last in the last Paris mm-hmm. festival, yeah. Yeah. where he spoke about you know himself and you know there are certain sections which are getting affected more than others, elderly people for example, no then those who are studying as Prashant said, Magir uh, all children who are, who have special needs because like for autism and those yeah, kind of things like they cannot babies, bear babies who have just been put to bed. Animals, yeah. animals. For yeah. example, yeah. the animal lovers, they always some animals getting lost and things like that. So, Five so in that sense, no, I don't know where the solution will come from. Can it be from also religious leaders making some special appeals to their community to you know keep keep a certain restriction? I don't know where it will come from. Uh, Rico, a couple of minutes, sir. Sir, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, 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 कहीं ना मैं पांच हजार रुपया फोग मारता इतने मारानी मारप इतने बॉम्ब मारप आज एक सुधा मारान पेटे वी हेव डिसाइडेड कि दिस क्रिएट साउंड पोल्यूशन एंड इट क्रिएट्स ऑल दैट एयर पोल्यूशन एयर पोल्यूशन मेनली सो वी हैव बैंड देर आर सेवरल हाउसेस इन माय विलेज हु एक रुपया एक मारान मारना एक जमीन चक्र लाइना एक नारिंग लाइना दोज हु आर स्पेंडिंग अराउंड पांच हजार धा हजार पंद्रह हजार फोग मोटा नाउ इट एज रिमेन ओनली टू सार्वजनिक जागेर खुद जो पे थे इलोसो फोग मारत बट दैट ऑल्सो रोणके भर मानना सो ये हलूह ये मैं कि लाइक भाजीवाड़े जो शंबर घर आसा तक पन्ना साठ घर जो इम्प्लीमेंट करता विद इन नेक्स्ट कपल ऑफ इयर्स ऑल द हंड्रेड विल फॉल इन लाइन जाऊँ शकता तू मुटा पे भाषे बिकॉज सी इवन इवन फॉर एक्जाम्पल दे वॉज इन इन अमंग कैथलिक्स ड्रिंकिंग वॉज पार्ट ऑफ आर सोशल कस्टम्स and then the church came down heavily on stopping drinking in religious premises including schools and things like that okay and which is more or less implemented and people have accepted it today so i'm saying it may seem it may seem arbitrary at one stage so they have done that now the second thing is earlier the weddings were in the morning can we think of a shift in timing is that too dramatic see because amche sudha with technology and buses and transport we have shifted everything to evening sarke yeah, ka no yeah yeah that's true we have ch- uh, shifted like now i'm just thinking if this ban is still going to be on then the hall owners the band owners everyone is going to be up because see people are going to go to old traditional way where they'll start their wedding in the afternoon and go up to 10 o'clock so everything is in and then they'll have you know caterers also might be out of uh, you know how this they get the people home cook for the uh, crowd small. Uh, <laughs> small that's what in fact those were the days but now everything is gone caterer phone mm. done it so so it is it becomes easier but this should most probably if this timing is not extended i feel that we are going to be losers because tomorrow people say why spend so much on the hall why spend so much on the band you know why spend so much on caterers when we can get it everything so much will be within our you know budget mm-hmm. even now though people cannot afford you believe me they borrow money and have big weddings. I, i know big, big weddings. weddings like just all you show okay i am having a wedding Thank a big you. wedding but This is going to come back to the tradition if this town, and there will be a lot of people who are going to lose out. Rather, that yeah, open air, sorry, sorry, that open air, closed air thing that that we were discussing. Yeah, I didn't follow. No, 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 the law permits, you know, that in case your sound is within close confines, no one bothers with you. You can play music at the loudest, and those who attend, if they don't like, they have to go. So long as the sound does not penetrate beyond the walls, the law doesn't bother with you. but then that is not practical because that would mean high hugely expensive halls mm. which are not just within the reach of general middle class people to have continuous sound proof sound proof rooms so that is interest but what i would feel you know uh, you see what is happening is uh, these halls and all or the public at large should avoid these bands playing this music which requires as of necessity to be loud i in this last two days last week i went for dinner with my children at two different restaurant one is a italian restaurant in my village and there someone was playing the saxophone and some music and he wished me are to kon apan nai le to nu nu something he gave me and i appreciated the music he was playing mm. because he was playing the old music of, in which era i grew up without amplification 
there was little, 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 but it didn't reach beyond. Okay. But the music was pleasant to the ears. You wanted more of it. Then, therefore, yesterday my daughter took me somewhere in Arusi, Mama something, some restaurant, Mama something, Mama, Mama something. Mama, yeah. I think it has something to do with that heritage there inside. Mm. Mm. There again, there was you know lovely music with some saxophone and someone playing, and it was the sort of music that did not disturb anyone. But if you go to any beachside restaurant, mm. they play such loud music. And that is played for tourists who start coming jumping around. To advertise. Yeah. No, no, they like that music when the younger oh, people, mm -hmm. they like loud me, louder the oh, better. Yeah. So that sort of thing should be stopped. People should not come here simply because they can jump around to loud music. Mm -hmm. Let the music be music which is soft and which is music. Pleasant mm -hmm. to you. Which is not simply noise. Yeah, correct. I correct. think that there has to be a difference between yes. noise and music. Yes, as, so a, precisely. as a musician, that is this is the another side of it. We have got so used to amplification yeah. that many singers just cannot project their voices anymore. I have been talking about this even with religious music and all that. We have these lovely churches mm. which are actually designed for unplugged music, which was before electrification and amplification came. And now you have the absurdity even in old Goa where you have this beautiful cathedral or the basilica and it's meant to be some, where you can a whole choir can sing and the building is meant for to to flatter it so well but, done so well it, done yeah but it will the choir will be in one corner with uh, this thing and singing very softly into a mic so we have lost the we have along with the um, amplification about, apart from all of these things that we are talking about the noise pollution that of thing also it's affected how we sing and how we how we connect with each other as musicians that is a, a different i know that it's a slight division but since we are talking about uh, the kind of music I thought I would just bring that in. Oh, a casual samadhi, a gazal geta. Pole music, venues, uh, catering, baki je sagra jere ek sizable industry go hai mitra sa. We cannot negate that. Hmm. Sizable log zakta tha jere. That is the only thing they are doing. Yeh jar band jale jale tanchi bhi nikal toh jare. Oh, ek prash. Dusro noise cancellation je venues tayar kar toh jale bande pole. Aata samaj ek venues jor jor lakh, ek lakh. It starts from 60,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, and not only that, Anmagi, they will go to court and but something. But even this latest thing seems like, I don't know, they, I, one, I uh, get a smell from it. The, the SEZ, Special Entertainment Zone. So they are saying now they are going to, I, I don't know whether they are going to acquire new land so that everything, the people can do whatever they like over there. But it, I don't know whether No, but uh, Doc, if you look at it, even if they acquire land, yeah. say tomorrow, who is going to go there? The yeah. price of creating that infrastructure, who will go to all the tourists? I mean, this destination where... See, it has to grow organically. You cannot, you cannot dump something in some place like it's a, it's a factory or something. You that. cannot create noise cancellation areas everywhere in Goa where the costing would be very high. I feel that ki just so... Yes, sir. You have three agencies that are up there. Radhan suggested that you extend the time a little bit. Oh, and then everything goes well. that uh, the, the, the technology of sound has totally changed. The other day there was a discussion on Tiat International Conference and Sahish das Deshpande was making a very interesting point. He said just because he, he made a fantastic analysis of the sounds of the Tiat. And he's saying just because you don't, because you have the technology, you don't, you're not obliged to use mics. You're not obliged to use it like other drama forms. Tiat has its own traditional forms okay. and we are losing that. Yeah, and we are also losing venues. In fact, you know, there, there's been a storm in a teacup since you are in all these music groups about uh, a remark made by Shankar Mahadevan about Goa, <laughs> Goa needs better institutions and better venues. I actually agree with him about the venue and even about the institution, the venues. In Pajim, we once had the Kala Academy. There's, it's undergoing some kind of renovation. We can only hope it will be for the better. But we have lost it. I remember some of the fantastic open air concerts. We've had uh, Didier Lockwood, the, the jazz. We've had uh, Rebo Fernandez, uh, Indiana, the time when he had his band yeah, called yeah, Indiana. Yeah. Yeah, in that open air auditorium, suddenly it, it was not, it was not uh, because of the rains we stopped it during the monsoons and then it was not feasible out after that. I don't know for some, it was being used less and less and ultimately not at all. And now we don't have the Dinath Mangeshkar Hall. Now, and for, for 
classical music there is no venue because if i have something that is not considered to be sacred music i don't i cannot get a church or a chapel or any religious uh, uh, see now I, you can no, now a little bit of no only uh, but i have got to i've got to prove that it has got sacred content but uh, so i'm just saying we are using venues if we had venues we might not have had this issue about having to blast in some open no, your place. your wider point is very valid and it's yeah. absolutely important thanks for putting it on the agenda because yeah. space is important i think as prashant also hinted earlier and said earlier not just hinted we are a, we are a musical society we we goa has been dependent on this so much absolutely you know we can't underplay that do tumhe ek kuch vichar padhe chilu ka now this goa government had this 15 days no leniency the press written days year mark ke 15 days that still exists yes, but up to 12 o'clock up to 12 midnight so see that is where the problem lies now as far as we are concerned our uh, for catholic sun talk you know our uh, midnight things sir. start at 12, 12. Midnight mass for Christmas. But that is changing. But that that but that goes no, that is now changing because of the law. Because of the law. So, so but but, but voluntarily we can't accept. We can't no, accept no, that. Uh, uh, that goes about that about decibel decibel limit yeah, so te, te no, 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 crackers 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 and and all are not ah, part yeah, of, they are not part of the mass, But what happens is you know that can be easily controlled by the church. Hmm. I don't think there is need to put it so loud. outside outdoors actually it is for the no no for the community po ekne ha prashan see poile for the community is one thing but then also the thing is that we have a horn so we blare it outside no but what happens now brethren uh easter of uh, new year christmas masses are followed by entertainment that is where ah. the you see traditionally yeah. that entertainment we, is secular in the sense to separate that, the two yes you but the dances. worst the worst is new year you at least this year it wasn't so bad but it was there you go on the birthday's belt and you see everyone is celebrating they are not catholics or hindus they just tourists they just tourists who are doing it for the industry say these yes. days you will find more non catholics on the dance floor than the catholics yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> in all these areas well dance floor but i'm saying new year is one festival yeah. which which is not anyone's religious festival no no it's the new year see today christmas is christmas new year is accepted generally as the international new year yeah. see the 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 gregorian calendar that is another controversy no no it is no longer no. referred to as ad it is ce now CEO. common era CEO. everybody yeah. has accepted that the calendar beginning with the birth of christ is common to all yeah. so they celebrate the new year there is nothing yeah. wrong with that yeah my only point is that some of these festivals are not even religious even yeah. when they are religious i think religious heads could make some some you know spare some yeah. thought so that for the for the a priest actually this christmas a priest actually made this comment to me he said see christ was not born at midnight so and he says actually if, if you start a mass at midnight you already you have a congregation that is kind of groggy you're not really paying attention by the yeah, time yeah. it's over they are even they are even more more sleepy so he says he's actually bringing it forward brought it forward even to something like 8:30 or something like that for his for his flock so this is something i'm not saying that everybody should do it but i'm just saying that there are there is revision of thinking it might have been brought about by the sound uh, laws but people are also beginning to ask what is the big what is so sacred sanctity about midnight for new year i can understand in the year starts at this thing but even we don't need to have mass starting at midnight for for you. this is my view huh? i'm not saying every mission and at the beginning of yeah yeah, yeah you can have you can go for mass usher in new year yeah no it's yes, just it's i don't know i don't know what is the value i know i know it has been there that tradition that have come down right tradition amche kade ahare ti ogich ya sagle kaidya lagun amche tradition ami sagli sodpa jay manna पण त्याचे कंट्रोल जर आलं तर ट्रेडिशन सोडपा गरज यांनी ओरेस्टची हाव चर्चीच्या मार्या रावतालो त्यांना थोडा वेळ बाणावली मग त्यांना डिस्टर्बन्स झाला ना मिसाचो रातचे मिडनाईट मास येते डिस्टर्बन्स केला जाता त्यांना वारका वळण डान्स चालतात त्यांना त्याचे पहिले बेतालपाटी वळण डान्स चालतात त्यांना तो मागीर सकाळी स सात पर्यंत चालतात दॅट इज द प्रॉब्लेम पर से रातचो मिस जाता बारा वरांचे ते म्युझिक जाता ते दॅट इज काना बरे सुदिंग मर दे सारखे सी एज लॉंग एज वी डिड हॅव एम्प्लिफाइड म्युझिक इट वॉज अ डिफरंट डिस्कोर्स ऑल टुगेदर बट वी कॅनॉट टर्न द क्लॉक बॅक द फॅक्ट ऑफ द मॅटर इज ऑल्सो वॉल्युम डाउन व्हेरी वेल सेट बट बट द फॅक्ट ऑफ द मॅटर इज गव्हर्नमेंट एजन्सीज लाईक द रुरल डेव्हलपमेंट एजन्सी आय रिमेंबर दिस डिबेट वन्स इन द असेंबली दे वर हँडिंग आउट लोन्स अँड सबसिडीज to encourage people to get a living of course with a good intention by buying horns and blaring horns and big loud speakers loud speakers yeah the horns the yeah. unidirectional oh, yeah, yeah. feature verse oh, yeah. yeah. you know so so that Nail. that funelia that causes all the problems and today we have got used to it it seems you know uh, uh, rico i remember reading many many years ago uh, uh, punjab had a chief minister called pratap singh kairon 
Yes. So one Sardarji went for a meeting of the, this is in the 60s, taking his son sitting on his Shoulders. Shoulders. Yeah. And he went there and Pratap Singh Kairon uh, addressed the meeting loudly and met a man. The child was back home and his mother asked him, did you see Pratap Singh Kairon? He says, yes. Oh, how did he look? I, he was hanging on a tree and talking very loudly, he said. He looked <laughs> like a funnel. <laughs> 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 see, this was tied to a tree and he thought that was Pratap Singh Kairon. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually incident. <laughs> <laughs> so in hey. 60s, 60s. I wish we had someone from the music industry here, maybe from the theatres also to to no. So, so See, not doctor, industry, doctor, but music. Not oriented. the commercialized music industry, which which also has a legit role and a legit place to to speak up in that sense. Uh, they 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 have the first response of theirs was shock, because like you know, in eight or ten days, you are told that you have to adjust, or and probably you made bookings and people have you know all their plans in place and all what do you do we wanted to have an alumni event and uh, which didn't work out for other reasons but even if it had to work out we would have we would have been high and dry with with this sudden you know theater drama bhi maka disna ki kai affect hota manta je decibel level itle kami asta he sare dham dham da tot ta asta you know theater drama in so many of them are going on in the villages still dead kai chhe dai na to kai but i think the band has taken it well now because mm. they themselves says 10 Yeah, their hands are. Yeah. They are refusing to play, so they are abiding by the law. So I think even if it's one more hour, but if it is limited, they will that's definitely. That's the, that's the yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have, they have said nothing doing. We are not playing. They tell the people. Not not like the work that the police are working. They have to pay hefty fines. We are we are not. We are refusing to play. And so, so I mean, they have cooperated so? with us. No, yeah, so I can't show. But oh, yeah, you, you finish, finish. But only problem is what. When we can drink a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> they get a bit uh, agitated, you know, and they come on to. Also, know, the mood of the party. Happened. The mood of the party. I have a party. Party. Yeah. but like you know, suddenly you cannot tell people stop it. It it is like telling people no. get out of my house after coming for my party. But I I know. Oh, I know. What I happens now? Uh, uh, go. Uh, see, it is because we are people in Goa, particularly the Catholic, is accustomed to come for a wedding fixed at seven at nine. Goa stretchable time. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. that is what. happen mm. but i think this would put a stop See, to that uh, it would put a stop in fact i received a invitation the other day with a mother and a bride came my neighbors and they told me their is wedding is reception is at benauli some southern deck or something and that it is from 5 to 10 that but the interesting part was and a band leader was sitting with me she says we have no we don't want any band we'll have a dj Mm. and i told her this Thank band leader is sitting here my friend mm. <laughs> see so this could have adverse effect for the bands yeah. already people are going for dj you understand no and the bands have just come out of a two year recession recession of, yes. of, of yes. 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 covid pandemic and all yeah. that so yeah. and ma- music has always been no but everyone life. meaning they cannot they could not uh, carry on their profession almost No, we you could know. not either. Yes. We had to refund. Yes. In fact, I mean, yes. whatever yeah. we had taken, yeah. most of the people. Yes, you also could not, but yes. not everyone. Like, but other like, sir, key important point. Like, ये ये especially Catholic का इंदू लग रहा है पर मूर्ता हाँ मूर्ता चलो तो वापस आ गए ये invitation देता तो अब ये पहली की जतन बगा सात दिन बंदे के साढ़े सात आठ आवाज़ आपको अरे हम एक टॉप आउट हो जाए बाकी सब गो बाय में गो बाय जाते हमें जाइए मैं आज तो कल टाइम तो ये साढ़े नौ पहले व्हाट्सएप ना मंडे माय फ्रेंड सराफिन ब्रोक द ट्रेडिशन तानी सात आठ म्यूजिक वाला पहले दिल ना देने सात आयल ना मंडो दादी बैंड वाले सात तेरे अम का सगले क्लोज फ्रेंड चले सगले ना सात आठ मंडे सात आठ स्टार्ट दले हिज बोथ डॉटर्स वेडिंग स्टार्टेड डॉट एट सेवन एंडेड एट टेन ऑप्शन फैमिली <laughs> and on the side of the government also to see if we can go slightly beyond the permitted level otherwise i think it is good that uh, uh, that there is a restriction both on the 
on the timing. on the timing as also on the level of decibels you can play it is, it is something i appreciate that it is done but i do hope it is uniformly enforced yeah, exactly. the difficulty i have already heard someone complain to me that in agasai one hall and one hall in neora or somewhere there is playing music till 11 o'clock through some arrangement with the police now this is the issue for me it's if it has to be 10 o'clock it has to be 10 o'clock everywhere no hall no when you should be permitted to take it beyond 10 o'clock once that becomes the system everything will fall in place and maybe maybe all those who get married must instruct the mcs not to take too long a time <laughs> i find that in most cases the yeah. mcs talk more than the I musicians know. play <laughs> many times it is so i think the mcs should be this still cutting of the cake that's all and let it leave to the music so they'll get at least half an hour more i think instead of every time the mc comes and goes on blah 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 which no one listens also and no one is bothered so i think uh, the mc should be stopped at at uh, after cutting of the cake raising of the toast sit down and maybe at the end he says something i hope the also. audience doesn't say the same thing for you and me but they can switch off at no no <laughs> with me you see i uh, sometimes i raise toast occasionally yeah. I, but see everybody wants uh, to listen to my toast i have no issue there <laughs> i never has an issue yeah the people on the contrary why did you not speak more that is when i raise a toast rarely do i find anyone telling me that i have taken more time or that i have not been to the point that is in invariably the case so i have no issues i know i am conscious about what i'm saying and i'm conscious about the time i take because normally i am not taking more than 6 or 7 minutes for the toast Plenty so no yeah, issue for yeah, me. i think that's correct actually uh, if the time is controlled by everyone who uses the mic i think we'll get little more time you know what i'm saying i agree with him and of course if the government is going to help us hope they really help us and will uh, that will help the people in uh, in fact and uh, mm -hmm. and people would come to us more and more mm -hmm. rather than you know have their own traditional wedding we hope our bands our caterers and all would get business and that's what i think we should be all working for present गवर्नमेंट जॉब फेर करता पड़े फाटली दिशा गवर्नमेंट जॉब फेर करता जे को बेकार आंक जॉब दिवा खाती आता जर गवर्नमेंट जर इंटरवीन जाऊन जर इमिजिएट सोल्यूशन हा प्रॉब्लम हाड़ना जैसे बेकार लाइन आनी वाड़ी बिकॉज देर आर सेवरल देर इज लार्ज सेक्शन ऑफ पीपल इन गोवा इन्वॉल्व इन दीज डिफरंट इंडस्ट्रीज रिलेटेड टू वेडिंग वेन्यूज बैंड्स एंड अदर अदर दियर सो मैं गवर्मेंट सदा भाषे एसेंब्ली कित तरी उत्तर दिए घर कड़े वो निदले जाऊपा ना गवर्मेंट सीरियसली घपा जाए वो इश्यू आने हेव टू टेक इट टू लॉजिकल कन्क्लूजन कि हत भर सेंटर वो डिमांड करपा गोया भर ये एक्सटेन्शन नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ टूरिस्ट बट बिकॉज ऑफ गोवन्स गोयकार गोई जर स जागर उ एक्सपेक्ट द गवर्मेंट टू एक्ट ऑन दीज इमिजिएटली डॉक्टर Yeah. So basically, I think you know that that uh, example about uh, someone wanting a DJ instead of a band. I think that is going to be the exception rather than the rule. I I still feel that Goans will ultimately want live music. That that what that I have no doubt in the long run. What I think that this law is has uh, this whole discussion around the law has been for the good because everyone is going to think about why is it's not that the law or the High Court, Bombay High Court, are party poopers. They are doing it because there is a reasoning behind it. one is the public health aspect which i'm talking about and the other thing is just being a good neighbor a good citizen and you want to make sure that the other person is not disturbed by your own actions and these these two things can percolate into society not only for for entertainment i'm talking also about this whole thing about not honking too much being being, uh, being good neighbors in every sense of the word in, in, as far as making noise goes but there's crackers or anything else then it is going to be for the greater good and i am confident that it will happen in the same way that we have had this thing about smoking of course we've spent almost an hour uh, i hope you all won't feel that we have uh, noise polluted your own sitting rooms and that this discussion i'm sure has lent a lot of weight to different points of views we are not saying for a moment that there is no problem and you know just to end on one small recollection my friend anthony simois who then lived in kandoli told me about 10 or 15 years back he said you know he said uh, based on what day of the week it is they play a certain kind of music in the nearby restaurants Oh. and i can tell you exactly if it's a wednesday or if it's a friday because they play the same numbers and it's so boring for us uh. so like you know there is a problem people like florian lobo have been taking up sound pollution for a long long time we need to do it on a common basis we need a common understanding among all of us and see how you know needs of different groups are fitted in i think it came a bit of us in a bit of a hurry but anyway we will uh, 
live and learn with that having said that thanks everyone for coming here you spent an hour with us we are grateful for your time your knowledge and sharing with us on this important issue thank you